Well, hello everyone. It is episode ten. I can't believe I've done ten. Or I'm doing ten of these episodes. Totally fascinating. Totally cool. Thank you guys for watching all of these things. Today, what we're doing is we're going to be building our pumpkin farm. As you can see, I've sort of started that already. I kind of got bored while I was making the iron farm last video and started making this thing. Now, currently, there's only one module working, and it's this module down below right here. And I have got almost three stacks of pumpkins from this thing. So this works super well. It's one of my favorite little inventions that I've done here. So if you'd like to check out a tutorial on this, I do have one. I will try to remember to put a link to it in the description. But if not, it's in my uh, just in my tutorial playlist. Anyway, uh, yeah, so what I've done here is I've created the first module. And this one here actually has pumpkins planted in it. There's a second module up there. And it has zero pumpkins planted in it, and we still need to finish that one. As you can see, I need to put some pistons in and stuff like that. So what I was thinking about doing is doing about five high uh, on this one and five high on that one. And that's going to put out a ton of pumpkins, I think. That's going to be a lot more efficient than our sugar cane farm. But our sugar cane farm's not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad. Well, in here, I have a mess. Let me show you guys this. What in the world? Look at this. So somehow they're getting stuck behind these trap doors right here, and then, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to like thin out the crowd somehow. <laughs> Look at this. This is probably ten times as many as I started with as far as the breeding, the uh, the breeding stock. So I don't know what the heck happened, <laughs> but I've got a bazillion villagers, and then I have these down here. And I started making these little signs, and I cannot find either Looting 3 or Efficiency 3. Uh, those are the two that I want the most. I really want Looting 3 and Efficiency 3 so we can... Or, sorry, Efficiency 4 so that we can uh, do a few things. Yeah, I, I don't know why I can't get those. Maybe they changed the, the, what the villagers can offer. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, I'm having a heck of a time getting those two enchantments. Anyway, uh, this guy is a... Yawner. <laughs> That's what he is. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're going to do some work on our pumpy, pumpy, pumpkin farm. So, uh, let's go ahead and do some. Let's go ahead and go ahead and, ahead and go for it. So, we've got some uh, concrete here to get us up there, and then we're going to go ahead and get some stickies to keep there. Some regular pistons. Okay, sweet. Uh, I should probably get all the different things I need because I'm notorious for, like, not being prepared. So, I'm trying to be a lot more prepared. And don't know if it's working or not. Okay, here we go. Up we go. Up we go. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to do during this episode, and I'm nervous to even say that I'm going to do stuff in these episodes because I feel like I feel like I never ever get done what I want to get done. So, yeah. But um, I want to uh, at least start working on our, uh, what do you call it, on our sorting system so we can get our house started. Okay. That's really uh, something that I'd like to do. So I've, I've rounded up a bunch of uh, chests for that. I've been just, just now I was gathering a bunch of wood and getting some, um, there we go, getting some, what do you call it, uh, some iron going. My iron farm is just pumping out the iron. I almost have a full double chest of uh, iron and poppies. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, 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 yeah. So we're, so we're making some progress in the world of Hex. We truly, truly are. We truly are. Anyways, okay, well, I'm probably going to do this in progress update just because it's kind of hard to follow me jumping around all over the place on this thing. So we're probably going to do it that way. But uh, yeah, yeah, let's kick off this episode. Let's get some stuff done. Here we go. Just a few more blocks. One there, one there, one there, one there. And that's it. Okay, the first one looks like... Oh, nope. I got one more little section to do. It's over here. So if I fall down right there, am I going to live? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. I put a little quick fall right here. And yeah, I'm really happy with this thing. It's looking really good. I'm trying not to show it off here till uh, we get up to the top. All righty, 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 righty. There we go. And we're just going to build this little column up right here. And a half slab right there. All right. 
<clears throat> Sweet. So the top has uh, half slabs and glass, as you can see, to kind of match uh, that one over there. And I, I went with all one color of glass. So I might switch it out later, but we'll see. All right. Here's the big reveal. Pam, Look at that thing. First one's done. The second one, the layout's over there, but look at this thing. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it looks like I missed a couple of blocks right in there. Let's give it a little look over. There we go. Yeah, look at this. I'm really happy with it. So it's basically five of those modules just going straight up. And I'm actually kind of surprised how tall it was. How tall it was. And it, and it actually went together like pretty easily, pretty fast. So just kind of put in some of these. This. There's one. There's one. And now that I've done kind of the decoration part, I'm going to be able to put it together a lot faster on the next one. All right, sounds pretty good. There we go. Oh, we just saw it fire. So it's probably gonna take the other modules a while before they start firing because we got the, uh, the pumpkins. I didn't use any bone meal on them and they're all still growing. They're all still like little baby pumpkin over here, but they'll get there. They'll get there and then this thing will start going into mass production mode. Sweet. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and start working on this next one here. I'm gonna cut this out and we're just gonna get going. We're gonna get going. Should I put the water in the center? I think I should, huh? Yeah, let's do it like that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So put these around here. And of course it's getting dark because it's time to record. So it's time to get dark. Of course, of course it is, of course it is. Well, we've got the first layer of the next one done. And I'm thinking about going to these, uh, this orange concrete powder instead of the blue concrete powder, just because I, I think I like the light blue better, but it is in fact, a pumpkin farm so we're <laughs> please some dirt please some dirt please some dirt please some dirt please a piece of dirt please a piece of dirt uh please a piece of dirt over here and then one there and then we're gonna place a water source right here block it off with some dirt place some dirt there another dirt then we're gonna get out our jack-o'-lanterns. All right, we're on the top level here. Very, very top. Almost done with this project. That's pretty good. What we need to do is decorate the outside after this. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do this, and that one, and that one, and that one. And then we get to place some boony, boony, boon meal. Boon meal, I know the boon meal is completely optional. <laughs> But I'm just impatient. I want this to grow. And I have a massive skeleton farm. Well, it's not massive, but it's pretty effective. That's why I have 64 levels right now. 64 levels from my skeleton farm. Yeah. And yeah. So the, let's, let's go down and check it out what this looks like. Let's see if I can not die. There we go. Sweet. So this is what it looks like without the decorations. Well, actually, this side would be uh, that. Yes, right here. Right here. There it is. You can't really see it because of this tree. How? Oh. How is, oh, what's up with that? What's up with that? Okay. Well, anyway, that's pretty good. So now all we have to do is just stretch the decoration blocks up. I need to get a little bit more concrete. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So here's my concrete. I might as well fill up on glass, too. I might run out of white concrete here. I think I have some more back up in my storage area. Which we will soon be working on, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, so that's that side done. We have two more sides to go, and we're going to finish this thing off. I think I'll do those. All right, there they are, the two towers of my pumpkin farm. Very, very happy with them. Very happy with the way they look. I, I think I like the orange. It just fits better with the theme of the pumpkin farm, so it's pretty nice. really like it. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is really cool. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to take a look underground and take a look at how in the world we're going to connect these guys together. So I'm going to go ahead and dig this way a little bit and see if I can find the other farm. It should be on this little row right here. should be that general vicinity. I think I just broke into it. There it is. Okay, so it's coming down right here. Let's see what we have in here already. Oh, we've got that. We've got 20 pumpkins. I just built the thing, and there's 20 pumpkins in it. I think this thing is going to just produce pumpkins like a absolute pumpkin producer thing. 
Okay, so if I was a smart person, I probably would have put it on the other side as far as the collection facility, but I am not a smart person. I'm a dumb person in a smart person's body. Boom. There we go. There is our little setup thingy. Okay, wow. This thing is just pouring in. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. That's why I built uh, a little bit larger storage system than I was going to. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I guess what I'm going to do next is maybe put some, uh, you guessed it, white concrete in here. Do a little bit of white concrete. In there. Be like that. And you know what we really need here? There's one thing that would be an appropriate decoration. I bet you can't guess what it is. Jack-o'-lanterns. Yep, we're going to put in some jack-o'-lanterns. Should we put them facing us like this? Oh, yeah, why not? Let's go all out. If you're going to do it, if you're going to go, go big. <laughs> uh, that's stupid. Okay, so this is what I decided to do to decorate. Um, what I did was just brought the uh, hopper line down over here. You can see the hoppers behind the chest on the side and then over there. And then this right here. Um, I'm probably going to change this decoration. I just don't like it that much. Eh, looks a little funny, but I did want to include some pumpkins in here since this is the pumpkin farm. So maybe maybe it's just too much. Maybe I need to put... Uh, let's try that actually right now. Let's try it right now. Let's try this. We're going to take out that one. Sorry, I keep calling these things pumpkins. They're not pumpkins. They're jack-o'-lanterns. They're kind of like pumpkins, but not pumpkins. Okay. Maybe this will look better. Instead of having like the vertical wall of pumpkins, we could do jack-o'-lanterns, that is. Do that. I just have two. Does that look better? I don't know. Having trouble here. Maybe maybe this isn't what I do, what I don't like. Maybe this is what I don't like. I don't think I like the light blue in here. It's just clashing and being classical. It's being classical. Is that a, is that a word? Classical. Classical. Like a clash sickle? No. Class classical. Classical. Huh. Having trouble with that one. Having a bit of trouble. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. It's not great, but it's better. Kind of... Maybe I'm tired. Maybe I'm tired and I don't really want to do it. That's the problem. There we are. Hey, man. It's pretty good, man. All right. Yeah, I'm happy enough with it. It's definitely bright. You can't accuse it of being not bright enough. That's for sure. I was thinking about putting some in the ceiling too, but I think this is good enough. All right, we're going to leave it like that. Okay, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to the sorting system upstairs. Well, we're up here on the top of Mount Hex. Well, I guess that's the top. Anywho, we have... Uh, we've got some stuff here. So what we've got is we've got our chest layout. Um, I built like a temporary little smelting thing up here uh, just to do a little bit of smelting here and there. And But that's going to go. So uh, anyway, the first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make sure that all these chests are put in. And that is one heck of a long drop down there. And I have to build so much stuff behind these things. So we're going to have to work that out. And for some reason, there are 13 chests across here, and I only meant to do 12. So kind of my first step here is going to be to uh, make it so there's 12 chests across this way, so I can build two modules of the, uh, what do we call it, sortomatic thingy. And then over here, I think I'm going to put in bulk storage. So I'm going to sort out all that stuff like, you know, stone, grass, 
cobblestone, that kind of thing in these uh, in these chests here. And I think that that's going to work nicely. And if I keep my farm sort of separate from my main um, sorting system here, then I should have plenty of room for all this stuff. Now let's get to work. So as you can see, I gathered up a bunch of chests here, and I'm just going to go ahead and start, you know, placing down some chests. So this one here actually needs to be that won't well, let me do it because this one, of course I put all my jewels in here. So we're going to have to move some things about a little bit to get that to work out. But I think, I think we're just going to start putting these on here. So we've got to go, that's two, three, and then I think I'm going to jump to the next one. Two, like that. I think this is going to be the way to go. Wow, that is scary. Well, we've made some progress, as you can see. We've got lots and lots of chests put in everywhere. And then also on this section, I started putting in the chests, uh, the hoppers in the back of the chest. So I have all the hoppers that go in the back of the chest, and then I have these hopper lines that go out to what's going to eventually be the uh, dropper elevators that are going to go up. And I think I kind of figured out why I did 13. It's because I was going to do an overflow uh, chest at the very end. But I think I'm going to make this one here or maybe these two, the overflow, and then have these as single chests for things like potions and armor and all those other things that are unstackable. Um, over here, I'm still debating what I want to do with this section. I think that I'm going to make it uh, bulk storage, and I think that I'm going to make that bulk storage be, uh, what do you call it? Um, so single chest. So I'm going to put trap chests in here, which I have not made yet. But that's kind of where we're at. Uh, the next thing we have to do is we're going to start putting in the uh, the mechanisms, the redstone that's going to turn these hoppers on and off to make it so that the uh, items don't just flow to the bottom chest there and then out of the system. So uh, I've got some materials to do that. I thought I'd do a little bit uh, on camera, kind of show you how that process might work, and then we will uh, we'll move on. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, repeaters all the way across facing into these. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do. Do to do, do to do, like this, like this, like this. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. There we go. There we go. And here we are. There, good. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put some redstone behind those. And that will be like, whoop, that's not redstone. Hey. Okay. okay. And that'll be the first layer. Oh, wait, I need to do, shoot forgot about this all right one two two of course it's nighttime three four five six so then this one here needs to be open like that there we go yeah because that's how I made the modules work okay sweet and then we should have one two three four five and six there very, very cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a nap because it is, of course, nighttime. Nighttime, nighttime. Good night. Oh. All right, so there's a couple things that I'm worried about as far as this. Uh, one of the major things I'm worried about is the fact that this thing is so big and I need to make a cool looking building up here in the sky and it has this thing that goes down there. So I built this like temporary platform down there so I didn't fall to my death and also so I could set things on and, and work and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's really huge and I'm just, I'm a little bit intimidated as far as uh, making a, like a house up here that's gonna look good. So we're gonna, we're gonna have some issues with that and we're gonna have to figure out how to, how to get that done. But we will, we will go ahead and we're, we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out. Um, we'll be just fine. So uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to start putting in the next hopper line or sorry the next redstone line up which i believe will go on this one like that yeah like that and then i think we go oh, i can't remember this whole thing and then i think this one in the middle could be a full block but i don't think it has to be i think i'm gonna go like that or maybe place pumpkins there i don't know i'm gonna have to go ahead and check the uh the tutorials and then I might just do a little bit of a time lapse on that if I can get it to work. Okay.
okay, well, you see that I've got in all of the mechanical stuff. So I've gotten in all of the, the repeaters and the pumpkins and stuff like that. And then I put in these torches, and so everything should be working just great. And yeah, 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 yeah. So we're good to go. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I put in this chest right here a whole ton of droppers. So we're going to do some droppers, and we need to put in some more pumpkins. That should be this one. Nope. Jack-o'-lanterns, I mean. These guys, yeah, that's good. And then we need a bunch of redstone torches. So we're going to have to find some wood. Wood, 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 wood. Where's my wood box? Yeah, here we got that. Uh, that should be enough. I hope that's enough. Okay. So then we need a bunch of ready redstone torches. Like this. I hope that's enough. Should be. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making these dropper elevator thingies. So here we are, and if I can make my way back to one of these, da -da 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 -da. A la 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 la. Uh, I'm gonna need some sort of temporary block, I think. Maybe some dirt. Dirt works well. Ah, uh, there we are. I guess the question is like, where will the dropper elevator things go. So maybe I'll just make the, the elevators first. Like this. And then we'll figure out the uh, where the actual elevator, where the redstone part's going to go. Okay, there we are. Hey, don't do that. There we go, and there we go. Okay. Oh no! Oh no, oh no. All right, let's see. I think that I think that what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to place uh, just some of these blocks just to kind of figure out where these are supposed to go. All right, so we got one there. So that one there is where the um, pumpkin is gonna go, the first pumpkin. We seem to have zombies somewhere. Right there. Okay, so then there's gonna be redstone sorts right there. And then we're gonna have our, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to try to map this out to see where the elevator itself is gonna go. Okay, so one there. So then the repeater's gonna go into that one. No, yeah. Okay, so right here, that is going to be the bottom of our tower. Okay, I'm gonna put one there. And then a jack-o'-lantern on top of that. Okay, like this, so we're gonna go up like that. We're gonna place a jack-o'-lantern right here. And then, I think, yeah, so then one's gonna go right here. Okay, right there. All right, so then our jack-o'-lanterns are gonna go up like this. So I have to place like all of these in and then break them out later, which is a little annoying. I don't really quite understand why jack-o'-lanterns are the only block where you can't place some like you have to place them on a solid block. It's kind of silly, I think. It's kind of silly. I, I hope they amend that at some point because it's just like, it's really silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't think it makes sense to a lot of people. Okay, here we go. That's like that. And then one more, like that. And then we need one facing up again. One more facing up and then one facing sideways like that, but I, I can't remember which way we're gonna go. So we're just gonna do it like that, and then I think one and two. And now the problem is I'm way up here in the sky, and there's only one way down. Oop. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to do that multiple times over, multiple times over. Okay, I think I'm, a, I'm probably gonna do that off camera and give you guys a progress report when I am finished. Alrighty, we've got just a couple more to go here. Almost done, and then we're going to check it. There we go. One there. One there. One there. And one there. And oops, I forgot that one. Okay. So, yeah, that should be all of the, um, what do you call it? Torch towers done for the dropper elevators. And... Yes, it's nighttime. <laughs> I seem to time these videos so poorly with the day-night cycle, but that's okay. 
That's okay. We're just going to take a nap. So you might be wondering why the heck I'm using pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, that is. Uh, the idea of it is that if you use the jack-o'-lanterns to put the redstone torches on, that you have less, um, what do you call it, lighting updates with the redstone torches. So that is the idea of why I'm using all these uh, stinking jack-o'-lanterns. They're a real pain because you have to put a block underneath them in order to, so uh, yeah, to uh, in order to... Um, what do you call it, to place them. So it, it's just a real pain to use them, but it does reduce the lag significantly. So it's totally worth it, uh, totally worth it to do it. Okay, so we're just gonna look down the line and check to see if each and every single one of these torches is in place. So that looks good, that one looks good, that one looks good. Pillar up a little bit. Okay, that looks good. That line, that line looks good. Uh, that line looks good. That line looks good. Oh, I'm missing one right there. Do you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? I can see it. All right, let's see if we can pillar over there. Not too much fuss. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, there it is right there. So, oh, are you kidding me? I'm out? I need one torch right now, and I'm out of torches. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> This thing should be good to go. This thing should be good to go. All right, now all we need to do is put in the rest of the, uh, the dropper elevator. So we have to put in the, there's like a comparator that comes out from each one of these droppers on the bottom, et cetera, et cetera. And then I just need to put in the, uh, the control circuitry at the bottom. That's a nasty hole. Okay, so what I've done is I put in all of the uh, repeaters and comparators and these little redstone things all the way across to make these dropper elevators work, and they should be working. I'm really hopeful that they're working. Maybe we'll put something in there just to see. Uh, seemed like it went up. I'm not even sure. <laughs> How about that? Okay, anyways, uh, we'll start testing it and looking for errors in a little bit, but we should have like a, like a guy down in here now. I don't know. I don't know where that thing would have gone. Okay, uh, it's not quite done yet. All right, so the next thing that I did is I put in the, uh, uh, let's see, what do you call it? So I put in some uh, hoppers, the hopper lines up here, and I put in the uh, the chests that complete the, uh, the hopper system here at the top. So uh, you can see I put these hoppers across, and then these droppers will then drop these into here. And then, no, oh, my item's not in there. I have no idea where the thing went. <laughs> it seems to have gone out of the dropper elevator, which is all that I really wanted. So anyways, uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to put in the timing circuits and stuff down at the bottom, and we're done with this thing. So I was gonna go ahead and do that. I rounded up uh, some extra stone and some more uh, supplies to get some comparators. And so we're gonna go ahead and start building this thing. And I just came up with a little issue. I'm not exactly sure where to put this. Not sure where to put it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I've got the placement figured out. <laughs> I had to go back and look at my tutorial world just to figure it out. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, because I'm actually putting this in a slightly different place than I have it in the real, uh, well, in, in when I did the tutorial because of this, uh, what do you call it right here? the uh, the bulk storage so I'm not gonna do like an input chest and everything like I have in the original tutorial so we're gonna have to figure out exactly how we're gonna power the very first one but that won't be too difficult that won't be too bad all right here we go do, 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 do. and that should be far enough because then it will reach this one so now all we have to do is put some redstone on top of these two three four and we'll probably do a um, a repeater in between the two modules which is right here so we're going to put a repeater, if I have any. There we are. There's Mr. Repeater. Start repeating. There we go. And then we're going to go all the way back across like this. Like that. Okay, so then from this one here, it was two this way and one, two, three this way for my starting block. And then I had this and then I had one, two, three comparators, a break, oh wait, one, two, no, this is in the wrong place. I guess it doesn't, yeah, it kind of matters, it kind of matters, okay, where it goes, there it is, and then so I got one, two, three comparators and I had them going like one, 
Come on. Two, three, and then three this way. And then we have redstone tying them together. And then I had another set here going like this. So then this ties them together. Hey, no, we're not doing that. Stop that. Real. All right, one, two, three. Come on, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And I think I have one more tying those together like that. So I figured out where that zombie was. There's a whole bunch of these little guys down here. Look at them. See them over there? I've, I've apparently built some sort of mob spawner <laughs> by covering this area with uh, my house. So I'm going to have to deal with that later. Okay. Uh, anyway, back to what I was doing. It's doing the trick. It seems to be it very well. Uh, let's see. I wanted to make this one a jack-o'-lantern. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I probably want to do that. Okay, so the, the only last thing that I have to do then is to take this right here, this uh, crazy uh, redstone clock, and we're going to run it up into the module here, and then we got to run one more over and run it up this one here. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then that'll finish this project off. And then we'll, next episode, we'll have to decorate it and test it, and we got to build the uh, bulk storage system here. And yeah, so we're very, very close to being done though. Very close. I'm really, really super excited. That this thing is finally going to be done and we can start working on our house or we can do some other projects. Sweet. All right, we got it sorted out. So we got our clock running here. I had the clock actually the wrong direction. I had it going this way and it needs to be this way because then this part of the clock, it has to have redstone on top of it to run it up there. So I ran up the uh, redstone ladder. It goes all the way to the top and then I extended it here and that goes all the way to the top. So all of the redstone components of the uh, the multi-item sorter here, the sortomatic, are completely, completely finished and it should be ready to go. So unfortunately, we're out of time though. Anyways, this has been your Friendly Neighborhood Hex. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you really liked it, consider leaving a like. Maybe even subscribing. That'd be pretty cool. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys are doing well and God bless.